Hey there, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a little bit of a different video. I am in, I almost said Kingman, Arizona, but no, I am in Bullhead City, Arizona right now, right across the border from Nevada. Why am I here? Well, I went on a road trip with my aunt. We went to, uh, let's see, where did we go? Actually, that's a good question. We went up uh, the 93 all the way up to Eli, Nevada and went across to uh, Battle Mountain. We stayed in a town called Crescent Valley. It was a neat journey all the way up there and all over the place. Um, the car didn't really enjoy it too, too much. <laughs> it was really high elevation. When I say really high elevation, I mean it was, I think, 6,000 feet in elevation to 7,500 at times on the freeway for that matter going up and down mountains that's just that's a lot for this car to do um going 55 was doable it was around 4,000 rpm up the hills which is really 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 high okay 4,000 rpm at 55 on the interstate up hills that is yeah, it got its workout. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> I've never been in such a steep hill. Well, not not such a steep hill. I've been on steeper hills, but I've never been on such a challenging drive with the elevation. Am I able to go or not? I don't know. I guess I can go. Oh, I definitely can go. Okay. Either way. Um, we also had quite a bit of weight in the car as well, but that's all right. Uh, we did a nice little trip through Nevada. We came down through uh, California. We stopped in Hawthorne and took the 362, I think is what the highway number is, from Hawthorne to Lee Vining, which is Mono Lake. It's a really neat looking uh, lake. And that drive, it was pretty neat. Um, and then we went up to Mammoth. We went up to Yosemite, all the way to the top of Yosemite, elevation 9,500 something feet on Tioga Pass. It is really, really high. Yeah, the car didn't like that either. We had lots of weight in the car. Um, yeah, I was going up the hill at around 2,500 RPM with the heater on at approximately 30 to 40 miles an hour. No, not even 40. Like 28 to 35 miles an hour. That's approximately uh, what we were doing up the hill. I didn't want to push the car much harder. Then we went up to the top of the Mammoth area, elevation 9,200. Then from there I went to the highest road in California, elevation 10,255 feet above sea level. 10,255, that is really, really high. Car did perfectly fine going up that hill. It was all low speeds, of course. I mean, the road speed limit. It was hard to not speed, okay? Like, the speed limit was 35 all the way up the hill. It's hard to not speed, okay? Either way, I went all the way up the hill and all the way back down, and now I can see I've taken the Mitsubishi Mirage to the highest point in California, which is pretty neat. Then that same day, we went down to Bishop, or Bishop, Bishop, California. And then we went to, uh, what was it, Lone Pine, or Big Pine, or Small Pine, I don't remember the name. Something Pine, California. From there, I turned left and went through Death Valley National Park, and it took us right to a town called Beatty, or Betty, or Batty, or, I don't know, it's on the border of Nevada. It was a nice drive. And then from there, I drove, uh, where did I drive? I drove to Ash Meadows in Nevada. I went through Pahrump, Nevada. Uh, I checked out Rhyolite, Nevada. The car has been all over the place. Oh, by the way, do you see that water in front of us? That's the Colorado River. The Colorado River is a pretty popular river, but yep, that right there is indeed the Colorado River. Yeah. Oh, and there's a dirt devil up the hill, or dust devil, whatever you call it. Do you see that 
dirt spinning thing up the hill. I think there's two of them actually. That's pretty neat. If we go straight, that takes us to Vegas, by the way, in Laughlin. Laughlin and Las Vegas. Although I think we have to turn left on some road up there to get to Vegas, but that's okay. Either way, in this video, we are doing a drive to a town called Kingman, Arizona. Elevation for Kingman, Arizona, I don't remember, 3,000 something feet. I don't remember the exact number to be honest. It's some rather high number. But we're going there and I'm going to go up Holopai Mountain or Holopai Peak or Holopai Pill or Holopai Hill, I think is what it's called. I don't remember. Holopai something. I've always wanted to go up that hill, so we're doing it today. Uh, although we're going to also go up a really steep hill first, so I'm gaining some speed. Except I can't gain any more speed because we're at the speed limit. Never mind. We can't go the speed I'd like to go up the hill. I'd like to get a running start up the hill because I have been on this road twice, I think. Not on this trip. Uh, once last trip, I was out here from, Arizona, uh, from Florida, and I think that was it for 2024. And I think I might have been up it in 2023. I don't know. I got some coffee from a store called Maverick, so we are good. That's the gas station we just left, by the way. Either way, let's make it through the light before it turns red again, because I know it's trying to turn red again. It's, it's thinking about it. There we go. And the Kingman slash Bullhead slash Laughlin area is full of hills, all right? So uh, the car uh, does definitely get a workout driving around here. I'm going to go up this hill at two and a half thousand RPM. That probably is good enough. Although, well, I, I am limited by the speed limit right now as well. So I'll just take it easy. And that car is definitely going above the speed limit of 45. <laughs> That's pretty normal around here. But yeah, it's a steep uphill. And I'll arrive around 5 p.m. and probably make it back to Bullhead by around nighttime sometime. Yeah. I am running late like always. Well, not late. It just took me a long time to get ready. I was cleaning the car up today. A lot of cleaning. So that's neat. Oh, I didn't finish my story about the highest elevation. Uh, the highest elevation, all right. So I was at the highest elevation in California and the lowest elevation in California in the same day because I went to Death Valley, that's the lowest. I don't think it's along that highway, but it was still below sea level by a decent amount. So I was both the lowest and highest point. I thought that was pretty neat. Either way, let's climb a mountain or whatever this is. We're starting off around a thousand feet in elevation, I think. Isn't that what Bullhead is? And we're going way up in elevation. I'm not sure what elevation exactly. Um, something. I think it's actually, let's Google it. Bullhead, oh, it turned off. Bullhead City Elevation. The elevation of Bullhead City is 541 feet. Oh, okay. 541 feet above sea level. And then how high are we going? Holopai Peak Elevation. Pi Peak is about 8,417 feet high. Well, okay, that's the peak, but not as high as you can drive. I think as high as you can drive is around 5,000 feet, roughly. So, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, there's a gas station to the right. What is that one called? I've never seen it before. I don't know. It's something. Oh, somebody's building a new house to the left. Oh, 
now they raised the speed limit from 45 to or from 55 to 65 so I'm going 20 under the speed limit right now I guess I probably should speed up you don't need to speed up it's not really that busy it doesn't really seem like a problem going 45 here but we'll speed up anyway or we will not speed up we're just going up a really steep hill okay Well, we'll speed up eventually, once the hill levels off. <laughs> but the roads around here, I've noticed they don't have that many cars on them. So going slow seems perfectly fine. Like, it's not dense traffic, so people aren't swerving around you. They see you from a long way away, and then they change lanes. And yeah, nobody seems to mind me going 55 in a speed limit of 75. That car's probably only going 55 right now. Not very fast. But you can see this is definitely a pretty steep hill that we're going up right now. I think it's about a 7 or an 8% grade. Something like that. You can go faster if you want, but it's not as fuel efficient to go faster, so I'm not going to go faster. Plus, I would like to not make the car rather warm which that will make it rather warm. We're just going to take our time up the hill. We'll get there when we get there. We are accelerating, we're up to 50 almost. There we go, we're at 50 miles per hour. We're going quick up the hill, aren't we? No, not really, but we are going up the hill regardless. Is that a fire up on that hill in front of us? It certainly looks like it. By the way, I set cruise control to, I don't know, 52 and a half or something. Seems fine to me. It's not too hot today, it's only, I don't even know what it is, 85 maybe? Actually, I can tell you exactly what it is, at least inside the car. I have a thermometer in here. Well, maybe. There we go. It was in the passenger door, it was like way across the car. Oh, it's 91 degrees in the car, my bad. Outside, though, it's a lot cooler. The hill we're going up right now, it's not as steep. It's probably, yeah, about 5% grade. It's not that steep. When we come back, if it's daytime, there will be a nice view of behind us. Or, well, it will be in front of us. There's going to be a nice view in front of us, if we can see that is. There's a high chance we won't be able to see it, though, because I think it will be dark, probably, while we're still in Kingman. But, we, we, you know, we'll see. I have no idea. I got coffee today. It's, uh, it's different than what I'm used to, but it's alright. It's a pretty interesting tasting coffee. It's kind of sour. My ears are popping, by the way. All right, now we're going up a 6% grade, roughly. It's 
says it's not too warm. I don't have the air conditioner on. I don't need it on, so I'm not going to turn it on. The car has a slight different smell when it's working extra hard. Like right there, I let it go about 3,000 RPM for a while. And it just kind of smells warm. Or a little burny. Not burny. It's just kind of warm. So I tend to not let it go over 3,000 or close to... I don't tend to let it get close to 3,000 RPM. I mean, I sometimes do if it's already going absurdly uh, slow, but... Uh, I mean, at least in this case, we're fine, kind of. So, if it gets steeper, I will manually use the throttle. Right now, is at a perfectly nice RPM. I don't like it going much above that, because it does smell a bit warm when you do that. getting up there and not too high yet getting a bit higher. Yeah, I'll just manually use the throttle. Pretty nice views out here though, that's for sure. If I'm not mistaken, in the winter it does snow somewhere on top of this hill sometimes. It's kind of funny because where we just started, the average summer temperature is over 110 degrees. I think it's like 113 degrees. And here, well, I mean, it's still hot, but it's not like Bullhead. It's a lot cooler. It's pretty neat how that works. very 
very steep here. I look at that rock to the left, it looks pretty interesting. It's like a thumb or something. So it's like a hand rock. My camera is losing focus for some reason. Let's try to fix that. There we go. And by the way, it does have some power up here if we floor it. It does accelerate if you need it to, but I don't want to go any higher or any faster. I want to go higher, just not faster. Because I would like to not make the car extremely warm by going lots of throttle up the hill. But that's okay, we are at the top of the hill, it appears at least. And we have made it to the top of the pass, elevation 3,571, so we've gained 3,000 feet, just like that. And now we can pretty much just coast down to Kingman, or something. I think Kingman's in front of us, I don't know. I'll set cruise to 55, and we'll just coast down the hill. regain some of that gas mileage, aren't we? Yep, we certainly are. pretty steep downgrade here. Cruise control isn't keeping it at 55. We're going to go faster down the hill. Seems fine with me. I don't really care. 65. That's the speed limit, so eh, alright, let's go 65 down the mountain. Or down the hill or whatever this is. I'll go slower once it flattens out, but for now, we'll just go flying down the mountain, 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 flying down the mountain, just like show. I am giving it the slightest blip of throttle, barely anything. For some reason, the car heavily engine brakes if you don't give it throttle. But if you give it just the tiniest little bit of throttle, maybe enough to go 25 miles an hour, it doesn't engine brake at all for the most part, and it's just like you have it neutral or something. I think we're going up the mountain to the right. I could be wrong. I don't know the area, but I think that is the mountain to the right. But, welcome to Kingman, Arizona! I think. I think this is Kingman. Hopefully it is. I'm not positive that it is, but uh, I think it's certainly Kingman, isn't it? I think so. Gas mileage is not great at all. It's only 42 right now. Uh, reason why we just literally climbed, climbed up a humongous mountain. All right, that's why our gas mileage is not amazing, okay? That's, that's why, okay? If this was not such a steep mountain, the gas mileage would for sure be better. It'd be like 55 maybe. But no, instead we're only at 42, but that's okay.
for sure, Arizona is a lot different than California. I much prefer this freeway to, let's say, Interstate 15 in California, or Interstate 215 in California, or, well, yeah, pretty much any of the California interstates. I prefer this. I'm sorry about the camera shaking so much. I can make it shake less like right now. It should be shaking a little bit less because I'm holding the camera. Uh, well, no, I'm not holding the camera, but I'm, I have my hand on the cam camera stand as like a extra weight to prevent it from shaking. Now I let go and it bounces more, I think. I don't know. Was it better when I was holding the camera or not really? I don't know. The camera I'm talking about is the one that you're seeing the view in front of us, not the camera that you're looking at our speed. There is somebody running alongside of the road and I don't want to be super close to them. So let's move to the passing lane and pass them. I think that's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? I don't know. Seems like the right thing to do though, so that's what I'm going to do. I feel like they're going to go. Nope, they aren't. That's good. Forty-five miles per gallon. That's not very good. But then again, we gained three thousand feet in elevation, so I, it's okay. Something or other wash. Sacramento wash. Well, that's something in California, isn't it? I think it is. I don't know what a wash is. I don't like how there's like businesses along this freeway. Like that white car just had to bolt across the whole freeway to get to a gas station. That's just, it doesn't seem good. I don't know, how it's designed doesn't seem good. Not what he did didn't seem good. That's pretty much the only thing he can do in that case. Uh, but the, just the design, just it doesn't seem great. Maybe I'm picky, but I don't know. Seven miles, I turn right onto the 93 South. I was on the 93 for a very long distance. And I guess we're getting on it again. I took the 93 from uh, Las Vegas all the way up to, uh, where was it? Eli, yeah, 93 from Vegas to Eli. And then from Eli, I turned left onto the 50 and took that to the, I think it was the 323. Well, now I've called two different highways, 323, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I Yeah, I don't remember the names of the highways or the numbers of the highways. 
this is a really loud road, by the way, so I'm having a hard time talking over the road. It's just really, really, really loud. Loud, loud, it's really loud. There's a, f a restaurant here, I can't remember the name of it, but they, they sell you humongous hamburgers. I don't know, it's like a $20 hamburger, but it, it's enough to fill probably six people up. It is seriously huge, like speed limit 55. Okay, that doesn't apply to me, I'm going into the speed limit anyway, uh, but it's, it's huge. What is it, Mr. D's or something? Or I really don't remember the name of it. I'm sorry, I I don't remember. Um, if I see it along the road, I will try to point it out. But I, at least as of now, do not see it. I think it would be along the Route 66 part of the road. Speed limit 50. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit. That applies to me. But. I do not see the restaurant, at least yet. But I don't remember the restaurant's name. Yeah, I don't know. It's somewhere around here. I, I believe it's on the side road, though. Not the side road, but a side road. One of the many side roads. Uh-oh, a fox got uh, a back massage. That's, yep, it, that's all that happened. It's had a back massage and it was very soothing, so it decided to fall asleep. Yep. Um, let's ignore that. Four and a half miles until we turn right. $2.97 per gallon for gasoline here. That is shockingly low. But then again, I'm a Californian, so everything is shockingly low to me. Lane ends, merge left. What lane? I don't know. By the way, if you hear a rattling noise, yeah, that's the rattling noise that never disappears. It's only at like, approximately 45 to 50 miles an hour you hear it. And I can't, okay, I thought it went away if I like steered, but it doesn't seem to go away. I'm like swerving the car around right now and it's not disappearing, so I don't know. Three point three miles we turn right onto the ninety-three south. Speed limit is still fifty miles per hour. Are we in Kingman, or do we have to go over the hill to get to Kingman? That might actually... Oh, we aren't in Kingman yet. No, that's why. We would have to go over the hill or something, which looks like, according to the GPS machine, we are going over the hill, so... We will end up seeing Kingman, although it's hard to see the GPS because there is a sun blinding me. There's a sun on the GPS right now, and I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know. It, it just exists. The sun is everywhere. That Dodge is going slightly over the speed limit.
Well, now they aren't going over the speed limit. Ah, oh, Puppy's going for a ride. Hello, Puppy. I think they're accelerating. Now we're right next to each other. <laughs> I'm going precisely 50, so maybe I'll win, or maybe they will. I seem to be getting slightly ahead. It's a drag race. In one mile, we turn right. I guess I won because they're turning left. I won the drag race between the Chevy Tahoe and I think it's a, no, maybe it's Chevy Suburban. I don't know. We won a drag race. Well, that wasn't really a drag race, but hey, we'll, we'll claim it is. We just drag raced a, a truck at five under the speed limit. So if I go straight, we'll end up in Flagstaff, Arizona, which I'm not going to, but I do want to go to Flagstaff, but I'm not going to Flagstaff. I've been to Flagstaff, it's a nice town, but again, we are not going to Flagstaff. Sorry, I don't have enough time today. I would certainly like to go though. Flagstaff is, yeah, again, a nice town. Oh good, we have turned and the sun is not in the way now. So we take south to Kingman, so it's the lane we're already in, so we just follow the road. Follow the road, follow the road, follow the road up the hill. Oh, it's revving up a little too high, we're going up a really steep hill. So I turn cruise control off. I think the corner wants me to slow down anyway, so... Yeah. Do I go to the right? I think I do. No, no, I go to the left. I think. I don't... I don't know. Well, what is this? Oh, okay, over here we turn. Well, where did that take you then? I don't know. Certainly lots of signs here, that's for sure. Up the road, it says yield. Well, I don't want to stop. So, we're just going to merge on the interstate. Well, this isn't an inter interstate though, it's a highway, but we're merging on the highway. A divided highway. I mean, it might as well be a interstate, right? I think so. Well, I think I can go to this lane. It doesn't appear to be ending, so we will definitely use it. speed limit. That's a benefit to me. Although I'm completely ignoring the limit because that's the limit and I don't want to go to the limit. I want to go with the minimum. Which there is no posted minimum so 
I don't know. Uh, use a low gear, the sign says. And speed limit is 55 here. All right, so we are going nearly the speed limit. Although it certainly doesn't feel like it. By the fact that everyone is going like, uh, I don't know, a, a lot over it. And we have arrived at the limit. 56, I gotta slow down. I am not going to use engine braking down the hill because it doesn't appear to be that long. Speed reduced ahead. Well, no, it's already reduced. Uh, it's going to reduce a second time is what you're saying? I don't know. Oh, it certainly is going to reduce a second time. 45. Forty-five. Oh, my bad. Thirty-five. Elevation, three thousand three hundred and twenty. So this is the part of town that is part of Route 66, if I am not mistaken. This is also the part of town that most likely has that, I want to call it a dairy, but it's not a dairy, it's an old Route 66 fancy place. Why is gasoline a dollar a gallon more here almost? 379 versus like 279 or whatever it was. I don't know. I'm looking for it. I don't see it. Interstate 40 is coming up here. That takes you to California or it takes you to uh, Tennessee. I don't know what's happening. It's busy. Busyness and me don't agree. I don't drive in busy areas. I guess I'm in the right lane? I don't know. I don't know where I am. That's all right. 379 a gallon here. So at the light, I follow the red car. You know what? Downtown Kingman, all right? This is downtown Kingman here. We're going to check out downtown Kingman momentarily. And then we'll take Route 66 to our destination. Well, I, I don't imagine Route 66 goes where I'm trying to go, but we're going to take Route 6 or whatever this is. We're going to go through downtown Kingman for a moment. Not for long, just, just enough to take a look at it, okay? That's all we're doing. I want to see if I can find that place to eat. I'm not going to stop and eat, but I, I just want to sh see if I can figure out what it is. Because I, I don't often recommend places to eat, but at least from my small experience with eating fast food, it's a good place. Oh, I see it. I need to turn right 
where that car is turning. They aren't turning. Well, can I turn here? Oh, it's a stop sign. Okay, stop sign and go. They didn't stop at the stop sign, so they just swerved around me. It's Mr. D's. That's the burger place. You know what? Let's stop here and I'm just curious what they have on the menu. I probably won't get anything, but it's been a long time since I've been here. So I'd like to stop here and check it out. Oh, look at that yellow, I think that's called a city car, isn't it, in front of us? I think it is. I am back, and they, they're out of my price range, but they also aren't the most expensive I've ever seen either. They're, well, the, their monster burger is $26, and it's a four pound burger, including fries. So, it's a rather large meal. And that is like, can I turn left here? I imagine I can, can't I? I don't see anywhere where it says I can't turn left. Oh. I just turned in front of somebody and the gas pedal didn't do much. Oops. Let's see. But yeah, the, that was the what was it called? That was D. What was it? DJs or Djons? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, their prices are pretty high. Let's turn left or turn turn into this lane. So we have 1.4 miles on this road before we can turn right. Dog gone best service. The dog's gone? Weird. Ramblin' Rose Motel. Oh, they're empty. Almost empty. So I could either take Interstate 40 or I can take the side roads. Let's take the side roads. I have been on a lot of interstate. Not lately, but I have been on a lot of interstate. And I have indeed been on Interstate 40 for thousands and thousands of miles. The same with Interstate 10. So we're going to take the side roads. It's called Halapai Mountain Road. In theory, it takes about 20 minutes to get from the bottom to the top. So, I'll have you time me once I get onto Halapai Mountain Road. Does that sound good? How long it takes to get to the top? Google says 15 minutes. But I'm also a slower driver up mountains, so maybe 20 or 25, I don't know. One way or another, it's a really short drive up the mountain. No in crosswalk? Nope. Turn right. All right, so we are in Kingman and we are at, well, let's just say 55 minutes, all right? I haven't started the, I haven't got to the bottom of the mountain yet, but I'm assuming by the time the computer or clock or whatever it's called says 55 minutes I've been recording, I'll probably start 
the ascent up the mountain. Mm. I hope the light turns green, please. Yeah, I didn't have to stop. All right, we are at 55 minutes, and I guess we're kind of going up a hill, so I, I guess we're kind of there. Although we're further away from the mountain than I thought, so I guess I'll say 25 minutes it'll take me to get to the top. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. GPS says we're 27 minutes away. Never mind. GPS is going the speed limit. We are 13 miles from the top, 26 minutes. Look at the solar panels to the left. Oh, never mind, you can't see them anymore, probably. Um, they're pretty neat looking solar panels. They're actually really neat. I kind of want them. minutes right now and we're 10 miles away so what I'm going to do is just start start it yeah we're going to start once you pass this sign here where it says probably yeah like we're at 59 minutes right now and it probably says don't enter when flooded okay I think that means we're entering the mountain at this point, doesn't it? I certainly think so. The speed limit went up as well. 
So uh, let's take advantage of this downhill here and start gaining a little bit of speed. I got a message. I don't know what that message is, but it's a message for something. We're at the bottom of the mountain with, I don't know what gas mileage, but some gas mileage. Forty-eight point four, to be exact. We're starting to mountain climb with. to be a turnout I can take. So I might just take that dirt if nobody else if there's no other turnouts I don't know. Once I get to the top of this little hill that we're on right now I will indeed take a turnout. because it looks nice up here and I know they want to go faster. There we go, and let's go. Halapai Mountain looks pretty neat. Halapai Mountain. Oh, speed limit 35 up here. Well, I guess I don't need to accelerate any more than I'm already at. I'm going 37, but we're going up a hill with less throttle, so we should slow down by the time we reach the sign, and we have slowed down, and there is no reason for me to take a turnout because they, they live here. Okay, well, that's fine. They're going down a no outlet road. No outlet. I guess they can't plug their phones in on that road. And yes, I'm aware that's not what that means, but I like to pretend it's an outlet. I haven't passed the sign saying I can go 45 again. Hopefully it's not 35 all the way up the hill. I hope.
corner, 15 miles an hour. Wow. Must be a pretty sharp corner, huh? Get some speed. So if I go to the left, that takes me to Interstate 40. But we aren't going to Interstate 40, we're going to Halpai. there's cones here. Is this on fire or something? I don't know. My question is, why is all of this growing, all right? So, in California, all of this would be dead because it would have been on fire. Arizona is, in a lot of cases, more widespreadly hot than California. So why isn't all of this on fire? I don't know. If 
I lived in Arizona, I think I would probably live up here. It's just a lot nicer here than down the hill in terms of vegetation. Plus it snows here. Not a lot, but it does snow here. So it just seems like a nice place to live. adjust the camera a little so you can see this better. Do you see it better now? I don't know if you can or can't. It's really steep here. Two and a half thousand RPM. It doesn't even. It doesn't even want to go two and a half thousand RPM. It's like it wants to be in sport mode or something up the hill. Is that helping at all? Kinda. like fire outside. Uh, it's probably the car. Not really, it probably is the car. No, probably not. It's cold outside here. Wow. What is it? 52 degrees. Alapai Lodge, okay. There's an RV park to the left. Ten percent grade. For how long? so you don't speed up and down the hill as much. Put you in low gear instead. Well 
welcome to Pine Lake Community. Okay. So if I just follow this road, it takes me to Pine Lake. Follow the road and it again it takes us to Pine Lake. Okay. It's nice up here, but let's go to Pine Lake. Gotta keep it within the 25 speed limit though. We are almost to Pine Lake. I like it up here. It reminds me of a miniature Big Bear, California. So the road goes to the right. I think. I think this is a road, isn't it? I don't know. Does the road go this way? Is this the road to Pine Lake? I don't know. It might be. No, it doesn't appear to be. The GPS says we're going the wrong way. Well, we'll take this road to the top and turn around. Unless it takes us to a main road. If so, I'll take the main road. All right, I can turn around up here, so let's do that. Most of the roads up here are dirt, it appears. That's not a bad thing. Unless it's uh, snowing, then that is a bad thing. And it does snow up here, so I guess that is a bad thing. Snow plus dirt doesn't seem like the best mix. Maybe I'm being picky, I don't know. But I think that was enough up here in Halapai. I don't see a lake anywhere around here. I see cliffs everywhere, but no lake. So the lake is to the right, but we can't get to the lake, sadly. I would certainly like to, but it's all private property. So no lake for us. In that case, I guess we'll just work our way out of the town and go back down the hill.
fire evacuation route. Well, they do have fires here then if they have an evacuation route. Here's our 10% grade. the lodge I'm not going to stop there but yeah overall actually I'll stop in the parking lot for a moment I want to take a photo Photos are taken. And I guess we will take off down the hill. gear now. So 
So this might be the steepest downhill grade I've ever been on for a long period of time. Almost at 5,000 RPM down the hill. I think we have gotten that part of the hill done. The way I have the heaters blasting, the reason why is if I have it in uh, low gear, which I did, that puts a lot of heat into the transmission. So to prevent it from getting to a temperature I just don't want, I'll just keep it in low gear and in theory uh, that should prevent a lot of that excess heat, I hope. That's my thought at least. This is setting the GPS back to Bullhead City. guard bomb um. 
another really, really steep hill. Holy steepness. Pontiac. bright It's impressive how steep the hill through here is, it really is. Usually the speed limit is um, high enough to where you kind of go 40 or not a good idea to go those speeds, but usually the speed limit on mountains, at least where I live, it kind of allows you to do that. But here it doesn't quite do that. Pretty interesting. It makes it pretty hard to stay within the limit when your limit is 35, when you can't even go 35 in low gear. By the way, the speed limit is 45 now. nice out here in terms of the looks yeah, for gas mileage wise the road's not that good for gas mileage that's for sure not that good at all sadly
It's pretty odd how all of the trees disappeared rapidly. Did you notice? Like, now instead of trees, we have like little shrubs. Although I think our gas mileage might be a little bit higher now than when we went up the hill, so eh, I guess it's not the worst hill in the world. We at least got 49 miles per gallon on the way up and down on average. That washing machine is going for a ride. Hello, washing machine. Are you going to the dump or are you just brand new bought? I don't know. So at the light we turn left onto, I don't know what the name of the road, but a road we turn left onto. I follow truck. With the broken tail light, sadly. Oh well.
we have an actual arrow. That's pretty neat. All right, so I can turn into this lane. The Route 66 Bakery is closed. <laughs> That's a lot of superchargers for Teslas, so you can't see them. Well, one thing for sure, um, Kingman is ready for Tesla. Or, well, they're, they're, yeah, they're definitely ready for Teslas. I'm not signaling because I think that is the same road, isn't it? I'm not changing roads, I'm just following the road.
Bullhead City is a not Bullhead. But where are we again? Kingman City, no, Kingman, Arizona is a pretty interesting looking town. So I guess an older style. I'm not sure what the speed limit on this road is. I, I the GPS says 25, but last time I was on here on the way out here it said 35. Oh, well, I guess it is 35. Okay, that answers my question then. You know, I've not been to a subway before, and there's a subway, and I need something to eat. Let's see what a subway has. I really don't know. What is a subway? I heard they're cheap. But what cheap means, I don't know. I don't even know where you'd find the entrance to the subway. Oh, there's a horse. I guess uh, I'm in the wrong spot. Hmm, maybe it's inside the building. I saw a green and I saw their logo was green, so I thought it would be, oh. Actually, I'll park under the subway sign. That's probably exactly where we need to park. I think, I don't know. I'll go check out whatever subway is and be back in a moment. I am back. I got, I don't know, I think it's the most expensive sandwich I've ever gotten before. It is $12. A dollar an inch. It's uh, apparently one foot long. And I don't know much about it. Um, I thought maybe I could use codes online. I don't know how they work and whatever codes I found, I guess you have to order it online somehow, which I am not really a person who orders things online. So yeah, I don't know. It's huge, it's something new. I'll try it once. Luckily a foot long, that will take me a long time to eat. So hopefully it just kind of it lasts a long time. I don't know. Again, I've never been to a subway before, so I don't know what I bought, but that's okay. No one needs to know what they bought. It's just, well, I think we do need to know what we bought. I don't know what I'm saying. I bought subway and that's about it. All right, cruise control is not set because the car was turned off one moment. Got to speed back up, turn cruise control on a second time, and we are good to go. Future 11 corridor. Well, I've been on Interstate 11. I was on that yesterday. All right, now speed limits back to 55. It went from 35 to 65 immediately.
That's a large vehicle passing me to the left. I guess he's going on an adventure. Past elevation three seven three seven. Sure. GPS is being funny, it says speed limit 25. I am relatively confident that the speed limit is not 25 GPS. In fact, I am positively sure it is not 25, it is 55. Positively sure.com. So let's go 55. Although I think the speed limit does slow down to 45 or something up here, so... No, it slows down to 50, so I'll slow down to 50 ahead of time so I don't have to step on the brakes. There we go, 50.
So have you ever went to, uh, what is it called? Have you ever went to Subway before? For me, I, I've never been to Subway before, so this is a first. Um, the prices at Subway seem pretty high, but I don't know. price is pretty high, but I paid $3.99 for a small McDonald's hamburger the other day. Hamburger meaning hamburger, no cheese. So maybe, no it's $2.99, not $3.99, so $3.69. So if this is better than the hamburger and also is the size of three of those hamburgers, then I can understand the price. But I don't know. I looked at it slightly when he was making it, but I, I really don't know how large it is, so we will see. I don't like the coffee though, it's not very good. I should stop drinking it, but I have nothing else to drink. Oh, I have some water. Yeah, let's drink the water instead. to not take Bullhead Parkway again. It's got a lot of hills on it. I just don't care for it. I want a road like this. If I remember correctly, which I'm not positive that I remember correctly, but if I remember correctly, the other road, which is the 95, it has a few more stoplights, but this time of day I probably won't hit every single stoplight, so I can probably just drive at a more consistent speed, in, th in theory at least. I don't know. That's the hope. The 95 is the one that goes right next to the Colorado River the whole way. So that's my plan. Take the 95, 95, 95, take the 95. Get this horrible gas mileage up. We're only at below average currently. And we have to go up a hill over here. Hopefully once we go up the hill and down the hill, we will be able to just kind of coast the whole way down. and hopefully get better than 52.8 miles per gallon, because that's really low. I know people are probably watching this who get 12 miles per gallon and say 52.8 is amazing. True. Okay, 30 to you is amazing. But I'm 
also used to seeing higher numbers than 52.8, so I would like to get better than 52.8. Okay, we're up to 53. Maybe we'll get better than 53. As we are currently going uphill and our gas mileage is currently still going up. Granted, it's not a steep hill, but it is still a hill nonetheless. Nonetheless, it's still a hill, a hill, a hill. It is certainly a hill. vehicle in front of us looks like it will tip over. Not the dually, but the F-150. I don't know why, but with how large the tires on it are, it's taller than it is wide. It looks like a vehicle that really wouldn't mind flipping over. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't drive a lifted pickup truck, so I wouldn't know. I don't drive a pickup truck either. Well, actually, I take that back. I drove a Ford Maverick from here to Florida. So I guess I do drive a pickup truck. Well, I drove, it, I drove it from here to Florida and Florida to here. And then from here to Anaheim. So, yeah. And then we had a job recently with a septic tank and we had to get a lot of rocks. It was 6,000 pounds of rock and I uh, took it in an F-150 and my dad took it in a Nissan Frontier. So either way, those vehicles, um, okay, uh, those vehicles I drove, well I drive the Nissan occasionally, but I also drive the F-150, at least in that case I did. By the way, 53.2 miles per gallon, okay, not bad then. Um, but yeah, I do drive pickups. Just not a lot. I prefer small cars like this. Like my car, I can put a full-sized refrigerator in, okay? But I will not put a thousand pounds of rocks in a bag in it. The thousand pounds of rocks is about the size of the car. You can't forklift a thousand pounds of rocks into this car, just it won't work. You can shovel a thousand pounds of rocks into here, but you can't use a forklift. To, you cannot use a forklift to put the one thousand pounds of rocks in here. But that would also be over the max capacity for the weight. So, in any situation, it's just not a good idea. Fifty-three point three miles per gallon.
it's weird the whole ground is black all right it's not just on the camera by the way but all of the ground around here it's all just black for the most part but then right above that it's all lit up so i guess there must be a nice sunrise or sunset happening on the other side of the hill uh though the hill i'm not at the top yet so uh the sun might be gone by the time we reach the top i don't know we'll see I know the way up this way is shorter than the way up from the other side of the mill because we are starting at 3,000 something feet in elevation here. The other side of the mountain we're starting at 500 feet. So, and the top of the mountain is what, 4,000 feet? So this way should be a lot shorter, but we will see. Coffee, but I don't like it, so let's have some water instead. The water tastes like water. I wish you could see behind me, we are like climbing, 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 like a lot. Like we are really high up compared to behind us. This side of the mountain just isn't that steep, I guess. At least as of yet. It might get steeper, I don't know. Oh, the speed limit for trucks is 50. Oh, well, I'm going the truck speed limit. I identify as a truck. To be fair, this and trucks do accelerate about the same. Well, no. I mean, if you really want, you can go faster than a truck in this. But in general, I just drive about as fast as a truck, so I'll just identify as a pickup. That works. 6% grade down a hill, sounds fine to me. And that's for the next 12 miles and there's a stoplight at the end. We lost about one mile per gallon from gaining about a thousand feet in elevation. That's not bad, it's just not a very steep hill, I guess. Or maybe one and a half miles per gallon, roughly. We're at 52.3 currently. Vehicles pulling trailers use a lower gear. Okay, 52.1 now. So, yeah, we were at 53.3 at the start of the hill and now we're at 52.1 at the top 
and the elevation is 3571 okay I guess it's not 4,000 six percent grade use a lower gear oh, I guess we do have a little bit of a view from up here don't we not much of a view but some of a view say we're flying but we're being passed by everything but that's okay we're flying for me at least this is flying because again I'm not really uh, that speedy of a driver as you probably can tell already so you know going 64 63 down a hill or whatever yeah it's pretty quick truck ramp in five miles hopefully they never have to use that that's just something you really never want need to use doesn't matter if it's a car or a truck you just don't want to use a runaway truck ramp Sixty five exactly.
Okay, the Runaway truck ramp is to the right. Gas mileage wise, we're up to 56.4, which seems really good. Well, okay, not really. I mean, it's three above my average, but I think I could have done better. But I think at the same time, the mountain that we drove up, yeah, it just, that, that kind of got to it, all right? Oh, second runaway truck ramp. Huh, that's impressive. No parking in the ramp. Makes sense. It does indeed make sense. I wouldn't park there either. Although, a semi truck will park there. Hopefully not, but it's, it, uh, it will definitely happen at some point. There is a stoplight ahead.
57.6 Color guard The correct thing to do would be to turn on to Bullhead Parkway. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to take some other road. So the light up the road is red, so I'm trying to slow down ahead of time again, so I don't have to stop at the light. So I'm trying to time the light. We also have to time the fact that everyone has to also speed up. So, I, I'm assuming I have failed. Well, not quite. I didn't fully have to stop, so I guess that's a win. That's a win! Oh, 58 miles per gallon. Sam's Club, 293 gallon per gas. That's not bad at all. That's amazing. Amazing, I tell ya. To, no, to a Californian at least, that's amazing. To a Nevadan, that is probably horrible. To an Arizonan, that's probably horrible. Maybe not, I don't know. I don't live here, so I don't know. Home Depot, that's where I got my Jupiter, no. I don't remember what the name of the brand was. It starts with a J. I got a power inverter from Home Depot. It starts with the letter J. Uh, no, that wasn't the Home Depot one. That was another one. Um, I bought some power inverter from Home Depot and it sucks. That's, that's all I'm trying to say. Jasper, maybe. Was it Jasper? Is that the brand? Jasper might very well be the brand. I do not remember. Three a gallon? Holy smokes, that is what? 
$2.83 a gallon for fuel. $2.83 a gallon. <laughs> I think they forgot to put a three in the front or something. I don't know. By the way, I am joking, that's kind of normal here, but like, still though, that is silly numbers. By the way, to the right of us is the Colorado River, if you were wondering. You probably weren't wondering, but if you were wondering, uh, yeah, we are currently parallel with the Colorado River. If you look far to the right, it's some of those, no, if you look far to the right at a mountain, which you can't see, one moment, let's see if I can adjust that. There, there's a mountain to the far right. That is, um, that is Nevada, all right? To the right is Nevada. We're currently in Bullhead City, Arizona. The town we saw earlier that was in front of us was Laughlin, Nevada. And if we go down this road, maybe 10 more minutes, we'll enter California. We are right between them all. Fun fact, there's a city um, on the 95 called Cal Nev Ari or something along that line. California, Nevada, Arizona town. Or Arizona, Nevada, California town. Or I don't know. It's three different states merged together into one word. It's really weird. I like it. It's like on the border of all of the towns. And so I think that Bullhead is more... Uh, on the border, but that's okay. It's still interesting nonetheless. I like it. Fargo. Nice. I like how Bullhead isn't super large. Well, actually, that Cadillac sped up to 40 already. Holy smokes. They really gassed it. I was, oh, now they're going above 40. I was going to just change lanes and go around, but that's okay. They can do that if they want, I guess. That gas station's 291 a gallon if you pay with ga uh, cash. It's impressive around here how cheap it is. It really is. So the trip average is almost 59 miles per gallon, though I don't think we're going to average 59. I think we're going to average 58 because of the road we're on. Uh, it has stoplights on it, and I have an uphill drive to the house. I expect to have to pass the car in front, or I'm wrong, I don't need to at all. Instead, the person behind me is going to probably pass me.
Oh, by the way, I don't know what address I'm going to. I do know the street name, but I don't know the address, and I don't know where to turn. I am having the GPS set to a car wash I went to, so hopefully I can find it from the car wash. My way of accelerating, as long as the car is making vibrating noises, I'm accelerating at an economical, economical uh, level of acceleration. As long as it's vibrating, we're good. Not vibrating at 3500, I mean vibrating at like 15 to 1600. Weird one, the closest Mitsubishi dealer to me is not even close. When I say not even close, I mean they are over 100 miles away. They are in Las Vegas, Nevada. So a 200 mile round trip to see uh, the Mitsubishi dealer. So, uh, Mitsubishis probably don't sell too good here. Well, there probably is not that many Mitsubishis here because of that. Is what I'm trying to say. It's a weird looking gas station to the left. I don't know what that is. So, oh, I don't know. No idea. I think we're doing pretty good around town. The gas mileage is somehow going up, so that means we're getting about 58 to 59, maybe more, miles per gallon in town. The reason why is I haven't had to stop for like eight miles in the city. So, well, no, I stopped once, my bad. I, I did actually have to stop once at a stoplight or almost stop. I don't remember if it was a full stop or really close to a full stop, but I did actually have to stop. The London Bridge is pretty close to me. I don't know where the London Bridge is, though. The only reason why I'm talking about London Bridge, by the way, is I see cars kind of going over a bridge in front of me, but it's not a bridge. It's just an uphill in town. Uh, but yeah, the London Bridge is actually pretty close to here. Uh, they shipped the London Bridge from London to Lake Havasu for some reason. I don't quite get why, but they did. And now they have a London Bridge in Lake Havasu. I don't know why they didn't just build another bridge. 
they did now yeah there's uh, part of London in Lake Helvetia it's pretty neat now we're almost up to uh, 59 miles per gallon it's more like sewage outside here Lake Havasu is a nice town. More expensive though than Bullhead, sadly. But it is definitely a nice town. Then we're back to Target. We're back to Target. Or the, the car wash. Must be to light. It's going to turn red or orange soon. I've beat it. Yep, 59 miles per gallon. I'd say that is a win. And somewhere up here, I think a light I turn left at light yeah where that car is I turn left I think hopefully I think this is the first time I've had a stop in the whole uh, town so far, so we're doing good. they have their brights on. Or had their brights on. I have no idea what that rattling noise is. I'm sure you hear it. I, I'm, I'm almost positive that you do hear it. But I don't know what it is. It happens when I'm coasting, even in neutral. As long as I'm going over bumps, I can hear it. It's not a problem. It's just something that exists and that's about all it is. It's just a rattle. That's what these cars do, they rattle just ever so slightly. You never can get rid of it. It just always is in the background. The fun part is, where do I turn? Is it here? Santa Fe Drive? I am thinking this is it. I can't read the street sign, but it looks like it. I still can't read the street sign. I think it is it. Yes, it is. In that case, I want to say uh, thank you very much for watching. We got 59 almost miles per gallon today. 58.8. That is not bad at all. I haven't pulled in the driveway yet, so it doesn't make it official. But, yeah. I mean, 58.8 or 59, close enough. It's a really good number regardless. 
this is a really weird driveway as well. Backing in, backing in, backing in some more, more backing in. And I have arrived. Oh, we reached 30,000 miles today. I didn't even take a picture of it. I didn't even know we were going to reach 30,000, but we did. All righty. Well, that's kind of odd. Either way, though, yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video, everybody. I'm going to go try out, or I said I'm going to go try out Subway. I've never tried it before, so we're going to have to see if that's any good or not. It is what it is. But yeah, for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you know other people who like driving videos, I guess share the video to them or don't. It's up to you. But yeah, thank you very much for watching everybody. And until next time, or no, just not until next time. For until, a, no, forever, have a good day. There you go, that's the right word. Have a good day.